Hey there, and welcome to another episode of, um, yeah, I don't know what the name of the show is. I don't know if it's even a show, but anyway. So for this episode, we're going to be talking about Python-based Kubernetes operators. Now, before we get to the meat of it, let's first get a clear understanding of what a Kubernetes operator is, right? So a Kubernetes operator, according to the uh, Kubernetes documentation, operators are software extensions to Kubernetes that make use of custom resources to manage applications and their components, right? So a uh, number of things here, basically it's just another piece of software that's running on top of Kubernetes and it uses custom resources, it exposes custom resources to your users, right? Uh, so that your users will only need to interact with that custom resource rather than the operator itself. Now, if you're like me, you understand this concept of the operator pattern better if it was visualized, right? So let's look at it from a visual point of view. So here's our operator. In this example, it's going to be a Prometheus operator. I chose Prometheus because I'm already familiar with how to operate that. And also, I'm sure a number of DevOps engineers out there for which this video is, you know, is for them, created for them. Uh, they're already familiar with monitoring and therefore Prometheus on top of Kubernetes, right? So our sample operator is going to be a Prometheus operator and it's written in Python, right? Now, as an operator, what it is responsible for is going to be to manage uh, Prometheus instances inside of our Kubernetes cluster, one or more Prometheus instances, right? In our case, in this example, it's going to be watching all of the namespaces in the cluster for the creation or modification of a specific type of custom resource. In this case, if we create a Prometheus cluster custom resource, this will signal the operator to get to work, right? In this case, the operator is going to create a bunch of objects in the same namespace where the Prometheus cluster object is created, right? Uh, one of the objects is going to be a stateful set, which will be responsible for managing the life of our Prometheus, Prometheus instance or instances, right? And then there's going to be a number of config maps and secrets that all, all are going to be managed by our operator, right? And that's basically how an operator works. It watches for certain events, in our case, the creation, modification of a custom resource named Prometheus cluster, and then gets to work based on that, right? So you as a, as a user will not need to deal with operator directly. You just modify the Prometheus cluster object and that's it, right? Now what does this Prometheus cluster object look like? To get started with, in our demo, it's going to look just like this, right? We have an API version, relaxdiago.com slash v1 alpha 1. It's going to be of kind Prometheus cluster and we're going to give it a name simple Prometheus instance. And then the spec, we're just going to leave that empty. So that means we're going to use the defaults that come with the operator, right? And later on, we can modify the spec uh, according to our needs, right? So how does that, how does that, uh, how does this go? So it goes like this. Let me close this one. And let's get straight to uh, the Python-based operator uh, repository that I have on, on my GitHub account, right? And we'll get go straight to... Uh, the try it out section. Try it out section says make the uh, run the following command: make image deploy, and then the tag for our uh, operator image. Right. So make image really just creates a, a container image using Docker, and then deploy will also use that same tag uh, to uh, to deploy our application. Localhost thirty two thousand is just a a local uh, container registry that I have running in my machine, right? So we'll just copy that command and go to our terminal, paste that directly. And right now, our our command is creating the uh, dependencies, creating the image, and now it's gone straight to uh, creating the, uh, deploying the operator inside of our cluster. And we can see that directly by going running a watch here. Clean cuddle get all in the namespace uh, python based operator as you can see we have a number of things here first of all the deployment right 
which says one of one instances is up and running, right? And of course, our pod is right there. Now let's go ahead and see the logs for that uh, pod, right? Cool cuddle logs f the namespace python based operator and right now it's loaded uh, its kube config and started watching for events under uh, this api group right basically it's watching looking or waiting for the uh, events about the prometheus cluster custom resource that we created earlier so what's next? The next part is that right here in the readme it says to create the namespace Prometheus cluster, simple Prometheus cluster, right? So we go back over here at the top, clear that. Then we're gonna say create a namespace. And the namespace is created. Our operator doesn't do anything yet because we haven't created our custom resource. We're then going to change our context so that we're all our operations from here on out is going to be done inside of our simple Prometheus cluster namespace. Right. Now, note that it doesn't matter which namespace you create our, the custom uh, resource definition, as long as you create it somewhere, right? Now it says over here to apply uh, examples uh, slash simple. Now where is that? Uh, it says examples simple and again this is the same thing that I showed you in the slide earlier right we're just going to deploy that a Prometheus cluster with simple defaults right so if you go ahead and paste that command here you see that a number of things are happening down below our operator has noticed that uh, we have created a custom resource uh, and then it went ahead and started running uh, helm install inside of the container itself and then finally it says successfully installed prometheus cluster simple in the namespace simple prometheus cluster right so what does that look like now we can look that look it up over here uh, inside of our uh, namespace which is the current one already right uh, simple prometheus cluster get all we can see that uh, our operator has created the stateful set as I showed earlier in this line. Uh, it also, because of that stateful set, it's now running uh, a single uh, instance of Prometheus, right? Easy peasy. And what's next? Let's say you want to scale up your Prometheus cluster from one instance to two instances, right? So right now we only have one. Let's uh, watch that. So that we we can see in real time what's going on right now it says over here to scale up your prometheus cluster just run kubectl edit point to the uh, our yaml file and then it'll open up uh, our editor we need to go to replicas and change the value of that one quit save and then see the number of prometheus pods scale accordingly right so we're going to paste that no not that one we're going to paste this kubectl edit hyphen f example slash simple dot yaml and that opens our um, yaml file for uh, that resource and right now only says one over here and we can modify that and say we want two replicas right we save that and immediately our operator notices the change and it starts creating the second instance of our Prometheus cluster. It's that easy, right? And again, you know, if we want to uh, edit or make some changes to our Prometheus cluster, we just have to modify that custom resource that we created earlier. Uh, in this case, if you want to delete the Prometheus cluster while retaining its data, right, we can just go ahead and run kubectl delete f examples that deletes our custom resource and that also signals our operator to delete our Prometheus cluster inside of our namespace. Easy, right? Now if we want to delete everything, you know, just clear everything in our cluster, 
all we have to do is run make uninstall that deletes our operator and then we also delete our simple prometheus cluster namespace and that gets us back to the original uh, state that we were in which is just whatever was uh, created uh, before we started this demo now how does this operator look like from a code standpoint right we can look at it uh, from the source directory right here and as you can see by the look of the setup.py and manifest.in and requirements.txt it's just another python project nothing special about it right and then under here we have our main uh, main uh, code which under the operator uh, .python. and what we're doing here is we're just importing uh, a number of modules from the official Kubernetes client library for Python, right? So we're uh, we are importing client, config, and watch, right? And down below, we're just looking for the kube config file. If it's a user kube config file, then we load it accordingly, right? Using again the standard library or the uh, official library for uh, Kubernetes. And if we see an in cluster kube config, then we load that accordingly too. Right? And this is pretty much standard Kubernetes uh, uh, code over here. What's the, the interesting part here is the watch Prometheus clusters uh, call. Right? So after everything has been loaded and our operator is ready to communicate with the API, we then call watch Prometheus clusters, which is the code down below. And now the code down below just basically says, uh, you know, start logging things that something's happening. And then we load the custom objects API, which is documented, um, or you know the code is further located in, in the uh, Kubernetes client uh, repository in GitHub, right? And then we just start watching for certain events in there, and if an event happens uh, in the relaxdiego.com API group for the custom resource definition Prometheus clusters. Um, that should return Kubernetes, the Kubernetes API will then return an event to us and we process that accordingly. So if the event type is added, then we install our Prometheus cluster. Right? If the event type is deleted, we uninstall it. If the event type is modified, we upgrade it accordingly. Right? So there's nothing special about an operator in our case. Um, well, actually, in all cases, right? An operator is just a containerized application running inside of your Kubernetes cluster, watching for events in the Kubernetes API, right? And based on those events, it will then act accordingly. In our case, it will modify our Prometheus uh, cluster object, um, whether we, you know, depending on whether we added, deleted, or modified our uh, custom object. So if you want to know more about how this operator is created, just head on out to GitHub under relaxdiego slash Python based operator. You can read through the readme, which I tried to make as clear as possible so that you can follow along. You can look at the dependencies. There's just really three dependencies over there. You can even use microcates for testing out this operator highly recommend it and then you know just follow the steps over here by writing your operator in python as i did over here you can quickly prototype your idea and then if you need you know more performance out of your operator then you can start looking into maybe writing it in go or you know rust or whatever language is best for you but starting out with python is actually a pretty good idea because you know you can get started with something that you're already familiar with so that's it for the Python based operator. If you have any questions, just you know, leave me some comments or ask you know in any of the uh, social media accounts where I'm posting this video. And uh, yeah, uh, keep playing around and have fun. All right, take care.